so that was absolutely amazing went in a shop for the first time in god knows how long and again shout out to nina at kirkby sells and exchange um there are a lot of few people in now so that's really really good because we have a bag full of games here that i caught on their facebook group so we're going to talk you guys through exactly what i picked up um the one in particular i'm quite curious about actually so we'll, we'll talk about that when we get back to l lady lounge -o. um but guys if you're new here we're finally starting to get a little bit of normality back and I'm hoping to do the five pound game challenge that as soon as CEX stores open the five and ten pound game challenge I want to rekindle with because I've really missed them and this lockdown my head has been battered but I've changed the lady lounge around I don't know if you guys would have seen the new tour depends on when this video goes out either either but i kind of ripped apart the game room and we started a kind of 60 percent fresh i think 60 percent of it's been turned around so if that video is out it'll be linked to the cards if it's not out it'll be the next video we'll see um, but i'm gonna gonna go back home now oh window wipers don't need them on and uh yeah so woo, retro games good for my brain back with a bag of retro goodness i've got to tell you guys it was pretty amazing going into a shop mm -hmm. and we me and nina were talking and you have no idea how much you take for granted because we've never been able to go anywhere um so oh god so i'm just like i'm on a bit of a high right now so i'm gonna show you guys what i've got and molly's just walked in so she may well want to come in the video as well well hello there molly would you like to subscribe to the channel molly would you like to subscribe? Do you want to give me a kiss? Give me a kiss. <laughs> or you can just sit down with me. What would you prefer? You just want to walk all over the place? Sniff the bag then. Sniff, sniff the retro games. Sniff them. Love you. <laughs> what are you doing? Should we, I'm going to leave this bit in. You do realise that, don't you? Okay, cool. Molly's gone. So I'm going to pull these games out. I'm going to pull these games. Um, so we have, I'm going to start actually with the Switch game, so not so retro, however it has retro vibes. Been after it for a while. Got Cadence of Hyrule, which is like a rhythm game reminiscent of Link to the Past on um, the Super Nintendo, the beautifully wonderful gorgeous super nintendo and i really like the art style which is to be honest what drew me to this because i'm not a huge kind of rhythm girl i have no rhythm whatsoever but i have wanted to try this and i think now that i have my kind of stream setup very different to what it was before the switch is attached to the stream setup so this could be one for the Nintendo Switch stream. Make some noise in the comments if you want me to stream Cadence of Hyrule and see how much I suck at rhythm games. Um, so we're actually gonna kinda, I'm gonna try and leave everything in shot. Now this next one, uh, we've got N64 and we've got Master System to go through. This one, I'm gonna actually unbox this with you guys because it is quite an obscure little title. Clay Fighter 63 and a third. Now, if you're familiar with Clay Fighter, which I am, it's a very eclectic fighting game with a m wild characters, wild moves, and an equally wild colour palette. And you don't come across this that often. And Nina, she's always been amazing with her pricing. And she, mm. she's she, like, this was priced at a good price, actually, if you go and check out what eBay prices have got. Um, it's a special appearance as well by Earthworm Jim, which you can just see on the camera there and this actually feels like it's got everything in it and when i say everything you guys know back in the day when we actually had manuals 
Wait, we do it. I've done it in so many videos. Nah, it just it's just that it's not new, obviously, is it? Um, so obviously you've got kind of things like this and the manual and then the cartridge itself with the lovely inlay. So I'm really stoked actually. And it's actually nice to get some Nintendo 64 goodness into my collection because I haven't purchased any N64 games in quite some time. So I think it's about time, it's long overdue. Um, I'm gonna take it back in this gorgeous little kind of, I call them sentinel cases. That's how I first like knew. What do you call these plastic cases? Sentinel cases, baby. Um, next up then, I'm gonna kind of sit in a real yoga pose here. Um, we have the new Tetris on the Nintendo 64. The puzzle classic goes 64 bit. Um, again, in really nice condition. Um, I'm gonna check what we have in terms of insert so we have Zen Manuel only 13 quid as well a really nice little bargain really really stoked really really stoked really happy with that one um so yes I'm gonna carefully put this back and we will continue let me know what you think I mean Tetris people keep saying to play the um Tetris oh, what is it called is Tetris effect is it on Game Pass on Xbox and I'm yet to play it but I'm hearing like really good things in terms of it's like music um, and really just good things overall and I like Nina's stickers as well because they don't like rip the boxes that's really important obviously when you are a game collector of cardboard cases um, so that is wicked now here's an absolute blinder for you this game is solid and this I'm, this is probably my worst enemy when it comes to games and it doesn't matter what platform it's on it's also on this arcade cab we got ghouls and ghosts guys we got ghouls and ghosts and if you watch the new nintendo direct you'll know that there's a ghouls and ghosts coming which has a co-op ability as well now i thought this didn't feel like it had manual so we need to obtain the manual but this is a classic franchise and you this game shows like no mercy you obviously start off in your full suit of armor and then you get hit you lose your armor and you're literally running around the level in your underwear and then if you get hit in your underwear you're actually dead so you've got to be very careful very skillful very agile very kind of quick off the mark when it comes to ghouls and ghosts something which i'm not but i do adore the franchise and i am willing to give this a bash on the master system because i've never actually played it with all of its 8-bit wonder so this is going to be mint next up then purchase this because you don't see it and you don't see it that's right you don't see it around it is called dragon crystal now let's take a look at this let's read the back together huddle around might even put a new filter on might even put a border around this part of the video dragon crystal shall we have an echo on it no <laughs> you're caught in a fantastic world of unearthly beauty and deadly demons You'll pass through 30 worlds in search of the magic goblet. There's no way out of this musical nightmare until you find it. So you've got to find your way out. That looks pretty gnarly. Um, not so kind of gnarly in terms of the screenshots on the back. It looks like a very basic top-down game, but a game, again, that you don't see around that often. Again, missing manual, but that's absolutely not a problem. I sometimes don't mind the little addition to collecting manuals. Oh, we also have um, a Mega Drive game as well. So, um, but I'll show you the other. Now, this is a classic. This is a classic game. This is another Master System game. Oh! Start your engines for some high action road racing adventure. Outrun. Now. What can we say? Oh, including manual. Get in! Outrun is a classic racing game. You're racing against the clock. You have to get to the next part of the kind of um, track or level, if you would, which gives you more time to then go into the next one and further and further and so on and so forth. You can take different routes. The music is gnarly and it just works. And I must admit, I can't even drive around without seeing a red car and thinking, outrun absolutely what an absolute imprint this has made on me as it's made on many of you and if whenever i finally decide to move i would really like the arcade cab of the outrun which i think is arcade one up i've done and i'll probably have to get it imported but i'd really love that i'd really love space for that such a unique arcade experience at our races so that had to happen i have outrun europa in my master system 
collection. Now we also have, and I'm surprised I didn't have this actually, check it, Fantasia on the Sega Mega Drive. Good old Mickey Mouse. I mean, we loved Mickey and Castle of Illusion. I often get asked to stream it. I have streamed it. We got some um, actually 16-bit Super Nintendo goodness on the background here. So sorry, Mega Drive. Um, but yes, manual included. This is actually the Genesis version but the Mega Drive case, but some Genesis games are actually region free. So really, really happy with that little, little lot. Um, and this is a really nice game. There was also Shadow Aladdin in as well. Um, I was contemplating that. I actually prefer Aladdin on the Sega Mega Drive over Super Nintendo. Would you believe it? So what do you think to this amazing haul of video games. I mean, we've got some pretty gnarly stuff here, don't you think? I'm certainly very happy with it. I'm handing the controller, the joypad to you. You guys are player two. Take this off and uh, let me know what you think in the comments section. Awesome little episode. I feel like a human being again. I've been able to get out somewhere today. Fingers crossed for more out and about. Retro gaming markets, retro games, tour stalls, thrift shopping, charity shop hunting, you name it, car booting, it's all coming here on the Gebs24 channel. So don't forget to subscribe, leave a like, and if you've enjoyed this, let me know. And what else would you like to see? We also have a cat here now, but I'm gonna peace out. I love you guys, all the best, and I'll see you in the next one.